Hello folks, how's it going? Uh, good to see most of you again. Uh, this is uh, HRM, Human Resource Management. Uh, here's a little overview of the class uh, to get started. Uh, we will be using Moodle. Uh, I won't post the key, but it's in your email uh, for some discussions about the topics that we cover in the class. I'll also put up some articles here uh, that we might not get to cover on live video. And uh, the Moodle discussions, uh, we tried this last time in the marketing class and it, we really didn't get there, but here we're gonna try to get there. Uh, that'll be 15% of your grade <clears throat> with your participation and, and hopefully it's gonna be fun. Uh, we'll look at the concepts from uh, HRM and your real life experiences uh, at work. Now you got to be careful with this because some things are negative. Uh, sometimes you're not happy. So you might uh, use the terminology of my friend said or something like that. But it really is uh, kind of like going to therapy for some people to uh, get to express themselves on how they feel they're treated in the workplace. Uh, we'll also have the midterm application uh, the take home midterm. I really liked how that went last semester. Uh, that, that will be 30%. You will apply this to your workplace or possibly your school. And I'll try to supply you with a guide. All you have to do is look, read the articles, uh, go to Moodle and uh, don't go to Moodle yet. There's nothing there. Uh, <clears throat> and, and watch the videos and get the concepts and apply them to something in real life. Uh, <clears throat> Even when we're in school, we're under management. Uh, uh, one thing I would like to say is, like with the four P's, uh, try to stay away from just going, oh, and the price, this, 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 boom, and that's it. No, we're trying to discuss things and apply them, and most of them were really good last semester. <clears throat> now, we have this study guide, uh, and then, uh, what we cover after the midterm, there'll be another study guide, and that should go to our final exam. It's very important to stay current with the videos and <clears throat> take notes. Stop the video, see what's going on, write it all down, and then what we discuss and add and put little notes next to that. So you keep up with it. It's probably going to be 30 to 40 videos. Easy, maybe. Uh, so don't wait till the last minute. Let me tell you, this is meaningful stuff. It will change your view of the world if you've never had a management class. Uh, and uh, our final project this time, by the way, a lot of the business plans from last time were pretty darn good for people who haven't had marketing in years or have never had marketing. Those were really good. In this case, we're going to look at uh, an HR policy manual from maybe your workplace or uh, if you can get a hold <laughs> I think that's manual uh, if you can get a hold of a policy manual uh, from a company if they will let you have it sometimes they're very embarrassed about it or they don't want it out in the public but if you can get a policy manual from your workplace I I've done schools I've done government offices been doing these for a long time uh, any of those could probably work uh, and this what well, that'll be 25 percent which should equal a hundred percent and uh, it's a little early to discuss it right now but there are toxic management practices and there's pure management practices not everything is going to work uh, the same you know different companies are different and they have reasons for being different but in the grand scheme of things, uh, we can look at a policy manual as being toxic or being what I call pure. And we might assess the company as being a seven and we wanna get them over to a nine. Now the policy manual will tell you a lot of things about the company and their view on employees. Are they trusting or do they have no trust at all in the, the employees? So <clears throat> the process will be going through the policy manual 
and saying, hey, I kind of like this policy. I like the way it's worded. Uh, it's pure. Uh, and Or uh, is it toxic and I want to cancel this policy? This section of the policy manual makes me feel like a three-year-old. Uh, so we could get rid of that. And then you explain why you did what you did. Now, we all have different views on uh, rules and guidelines and things like that. But really, when we look at this, uh, I don't know. Do you like rules? Some people like some rules. Uh, better put, some people like borders, barriers, and guidelines. Give me what you expect, you know, some. But then rules, uh, if you're anything like me, I don't like rules. I don't like being told you have to do this, you have to do that, and this. Uh, but we can't oh, always take a rule and make it a value. Uh, an example would be, <clears throat> you're not allowed to use this hallway. You know, that, that might be a, a rule. You're not allowed to use the hallway. But a value might be to uh, <clears throat> avoid accidents. Uh, there are, you know, some kind of activity in the hallway. And in order to protect yourself and keep everybody safe, uh, we prefer that people go around, not through the hallway. So it's still getting the message, don't do it, but it explains why. It's a value statement. Safety, not just a stupid rule. So, uh, <clears throat> now another thing is, uh, this is HRM 381, and next time uh, we're going to do org, which is 234. <clears throat> Normally, uh, we would do organizational behavior and all the concepts from organizational behavior first, and then this would be the advanced uh, management class. But due to the cohorts or something, uh, we have to go with this first and then we'll go back and do this. I'll do my best. In fact, the upcoming videos tonight will be uh, some of the basic things that are covered in organizational behavior. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, it is very meaningful. Uh, I think you will see a lot of you are parents. This will change the way you parent your kids. Uh, it will also drive you nuts when you have <coughs> those experiences uh, at the workplace that are toxic. They are not necessary. Who decided to do that? Uh, and uh, so it will be an eye-opener. And I hope you enjoy it.